Good morning and welcome yet to another vlog here in Nusa Penida. Excuse the way we look, we did get caught in the rain on the oh, way here. So much rain. <laughs> but I'm pretty excited for today's event. We've come here on the west side of the island in order to come and see a tree house. Now you probably have seen this place on Instagram, but today you're going to see it in video. Here's the tree house. Look at this walk down. It's starting to feel like a linking beach walk. At least they have stairs. This is easy peasy compared to yesterday's hike. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine, baby. Wow. <laughs> it's incredibly beautiful here. So we had a location called Diamond Beach. And I'm sure you've seen this place in a lot of travel websites as well. So it seems like Nusa Penida is the hotspot photo spot of travel agencies. And here we are at the famous tree house. Again, waking up early and coming to these places really pays off. There's only a few people here, but I can imagine later on it's going to be packed. If there's one thing we've seen is we've just, ooh, just seen this tree house on Instagram, but we don't know what it actually looks like. So we're going to go and explore it for a little bit and see it. These stairs are quite steep up. Wow. Imagine living here. This is so cool. I could wake up here and have my coffee and look at this view every single day like wow this view is amazing this is how small the balcony is so so small unfortunately we can't go and look what's inside the tree house as it does look locked i don't think it is, is oh it? it's not I think oh there's actually a bed it. here well this is what it looks like in the tree house check there's a water fan I wonder if you can actually rent this place out. I don't know. I did read somewhere that you can, but I'm not entirely sure. But man, <laughs> the views from here are just probably the best thing about it. It's a small tree house. I'd probably say it's about four square meters. It would be cool to rent this out on Airbnb, but imagine then waking up to all the people like us coming to take photos here in the morning. That would be terrible. <laughs> you have to wake up super early, have breakfast, and then wait for everybody to leave. <laughs> Unfortunately, taking photos here isn't free, but it is private property, and we are trying to support the local community. All right, bye little treehouse. Check how steep these stairs are. You definitely do not want to fall off there. You're going to end up in a cool place, but not a nice place. Well, at least now we know what the treehouse looks like. So seeing that it basically took us an hour to get here, I think we're just going to sit and enjoy this view for a moment because we're probably never going to be here again. Right now we're overlooking the Thousand Islands. Apparently we're on a Thousand Island viewpoint, but there are little islands that are peeking out of the sea. And yeah, we couldn't just come here to spend five minutes at the treehouse and not take in this incredible view. One thing I have noticed about Nusa Panida is how blue the water is. It's one thing I never thought that was actually here. And it's probably due to the fact that I didn't do a lot of research. It's just absolutely incredible. The shades of blue that you're getting. It's the like... The cliffs, the rocks, the... It's just, it's stunning. Yeah. I must say, one thing about Nusa Panida is it's a whole lot better seeing it from your eyes than what it is seeing it on a video. So if you ever get the chance to come here, do that. I agree. Normally when you see something on Instagram and you go there, you're kind of disappointed because it doesn't live up to the expectations you built up for it. But here at Nusa Panida, everything that I see like exceeds my expectations. Yeah, it's incredible. And because we came here early, we didn't have time to get breakfast. So I got some crackers for us. So gonna have a few little crackers before heading to Diamond Beach. Cracker? <laughs> Not a bad breakfast spot at all. Mm, I expected these to be salty crackers. They're actually quite sweet. They do have some cows here. He doesn't speak South African cow. That's why I didn't respond. We wouldn't leave you here. You gotta come with us. Taxi, taxi. Why did you climb off? I gotta fetch our buddies. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Wow. 
This is one huge cliff going down here, but I'm literally looking over Diamond Beach. I don't want to step too close. But look down there. This is so scary. This is very high. Just look at these rock formations to my right. You can even see in the one that there's a hole in it created from the sea. And of course, the rain has come to join us. <laughs> so we have to pack the big camera away and use the GoPro. Story of our lives. What a mission. We really haven't been blessed with sunny weather while we've been here in Bali. <laughs> but it's okay, we're making the best of it. So if you have not noticed already in this video, those two rocks there are quite popular on travel websites. And I think this is why this place is so popular. It definitely looks better than the photos again that I've seen online. Again, these views are exceeding my expectations. How cool is this? You literally got to walk like through a half cave. <laughs> Mind your head though, I'm like just missing it. I can't really stand up straight. <laughs> Apparently the locals here on Nusa Penida actually carved this out so that tourists could get to the beach easier. As beforehand, there was not really a way to get there. <sighs> but I'm so glad that they actually made stairs here because if it was anything like our previous video, that would that have would been be a dead. nightmare. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, death. The pathways are pretty narrow, so you have to time yourself with people coming up. Look at the path going down here. Ooh, it's high. <laughs> that is definitely a far way down. Thanks guys! Okay. Woo. <laughs> that is so tight! <laughs> that must have been so difficult to create! If you actually look at these rocks, they're very similar to how the caves in Turkey were carved. You can actually see the chips inside the rocks to form this stairway. Made it. <laughs> that was a quick vertical decline. Look how far we are. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, two, three. Got it. Made it. Woo! We finally made it on Diamond Beach. Look how soft the sand is. I'm literally sinking into it. Wow, this is incredible. These waves are just as big as they were in Kalinking. Just look up at these cliffs. What? Look at that, that is crazy. This is such a beautiful beach, it really is a diamond, a hidden gem. Like if no one found it, there'd be no tourists here and it'd be undiscovered. It kind of feels undiscovered somewhat. It does feel this way because look how many people are around us. There's basically nobody.
So we can officially say that we probably made it to the two most beautiful beaches in Indonesia. Well, that I know of. <laughs> Bucket list item tick. Our time on the beach was very short-lived as it looks like the tide is rising and if you look at this beach it's not a place you want to be caught at when the tide is high. <laughs> Check it this, it's already reaching the rocks. So if you are going to come here I definitely time it during low tide. Don't come during high tide. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Run 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 run. Woo. It's getting pretty intense now. The ant fell again. And <laughs> on the same knee, so I keep injuring myself. If it's but not it's a log, it's a rock. <laughs> part of the experience. Other than the gorgeous viewpoints that we've seen already here on New Sipanita, another thing that we've been told that we have to do is we have to go and see a sunset. So we are on the way to one of the popular spots in order to go and view a sunset. Oh, This is a beautiful restaurant. So the place that we've come to is called Green Kubu. There's not a lot of spots on Nusa Panida that actually offer sunset views. So I think we're just going to soak this all up and just enjoy what Nusa Panida has to offer. So from here you can actually see Nusa Lembongan and all the way down there is Bali. That's how close we are. They even have a little puppy here. Oh yeah. He's so cute. Ow, his teeth are like needles. <laughs> There's only one way to watch a sunset, and that is with a beer. A nice cold bintang, right? <laughs> so I've only really started to drink beer since we started traveling as it is the cheapest option. But there's one beer that I really like and that is a Tuskers beer from Kenya. But I must say this bintang comes really really close to it. So I say a bintang is my second favorite. 